of fairy stories my children love best of all gentle olga and spiteful vera once there lived in russia near a great forest of pine trees a pretty little girl named olga her father was very fond of her but she had a stepmother who did not like her at all worst still she had a stepsister who was always beating her now olga was as sweet and gentle as her stepsister vera was ugly and spiteful every day she grew more lovely and this made vera and her mother more unkind to her than ever at last they made up their minds to turn her out of the house the wicked stepmother said to her husband i will not let olga stay with us any longer you must take her away into the forest and leave her there the poor man begged and prayed that he might keep his little daughter but when he found that there was no help for it he hitched his horses to the sledge and took her into the dark thick forest he did not mean to leave her to die in the snow so he drove on and on looking for some place where she might be quite safe in time they came to a little hut which was sometimes used by the woodcutters this is just the thing he said they both got out of the sledge and went into the hut first he made a great fire of logs in the stove then he brought in from the sledge a large pot of soup and a spinning wheel now mind you do not let the fire go out he said when you feel hungry you can warm some soup whatever you do you must not leave the hut or the frost will nip you to-morrow i will come and see how you are getting on then he kissed his daughter and drove away when olga was left alone she sat down to spin soon it began to grow dark so she put some soup on the fire to warm this will do for my supper she said and then i will go to sleep just when the soup was ready olga heard a knock at the door who can be out in the forest at this time of night she thought as she lifted the latch outside stood a very strange old man he was white with snow and ice hung down from his hair his chin and the tips of his fingers olga felt very much afraid of him but she asked him who he was i am jack frost my dear he replied will you let me come in by all means said the girl come in and sit down my name is olga jack frost walked into the hut and the air turned icy as he entered poor olga's fingers and toes became quite numb and her teeth began to chatter but she did not let jack frost see how cold she was will you have some of my soup she asked thank you dear olga he replied i should like a little so they sat down and had a meal and jack frost told her tales of his home in the frozen north where the ice never melts and the sun is never warm at last he said that he must go and it was quite time too for the poor girl was almost frozen to death as he went out of the door he said you are a good child olga you have listened to my tales though most little girls run away from me when you wake up in the morning look out of the door and you will find a lovely present off he went into the woods and olga could hear him snapping his fingers amongst the pine trees then she lay down by the stove to warm herself and soon fell fast asleep in the morning she ran to the door as soon as she awoke to see what jack frost had sent her all round the hut stood twenty white horses with long tails and flowing manes each had two bags tied upon its back and every bag was full of gold before long olga's father drove up in his sledge he could hardly believe his eyes when he saw the horses in the bags of gold then the little girl quickly ran out of the hut and told him the whole story they soon set off for home again how angry olga's stepmother was when she saw the girl and her father driving up to the house with all the horses she grew red with rage when she heard what had happened she said you must take vera to-morrow she is much more clever than olga and jack frost is sure to give her twice as much next day the husband took spiteful vera into the forest and left her in the little hut 
with a pot of soup and a spinning wheel the girl put some soup on the fire to warm when it was ready she heard a knock at the door so she lifted the latch and there she saw jack frost may i come in he asked oh yes you can if you like she said in a rough voice but mind you give me a better present than you gave to my stupid sister olga when jack frost walked in the air became so very cold that vera ran off to the stove where she sat down and began to eat her soup will you give me some of your soup vera asked jack frost is it likely i should give you any soup said vera why i want it all for myself it is bad enough to have you making me so cold without taking my soup as well this made jack frost very angry he dared not go near the stove where vera was sitting for fear he should melt so he picked up some pieces of firewood that were lying about and began to throw them at her she tried to hide behind the stove but it was of no use the wood hit her every time until she fell to the ground more dead than alive then jack frost ran off among the pine trees snapping his fingers as he went next morning the husband drove up in his sledge to fetch vera and her present but he found no horses and no bags of gold outside the hut and on going inside he saw the girl half lying dead on the floor so he put her into the sledge and drove home as fast as his horses could gallop when the stepmother heard what had happened she flew into such a rage that she fell down dead olga was now very rich it was not long before a handsome young prince fell in love with her she married him and went to live in his palace but she did not forget her father and vera she took them with her and they all lived happily ever after End of chapter 4